All right, guys, we got Colin to my right here, and we are gonna play five holes today, and you're gonna caddy for me. Yeah, I'll be um, the best caddy you've ever had. Have you caddied before? Nope. Never caddy. <laughs> best caddy, though. <laughs> five holes, and if we have a shot under 50 yards or something, I'm gonna have you hit it. I know you, you don't wanna make full swings. Back, you hurt your back, how'd you do that? We were in the gym, I uh, did this three months ago, memorials, kind of final round stuff. Uh, just like old man stuff, like picking up things, bad posture. Uh, things that you know, I obviously have to watch. Hurting right. my back is never, never fun. I mean, seeing every injury um, throughout a lot of professional golfers, but backs are That's some the of the worst, worst injuries. One. So I gotta watch what I do. I want to be out here hitting with you guys, but uh, but yeah, it is what it is. I'm gonna take a few days of rest, and that uh, will be back out. Perfect. So, right edge of the green, so like just left of that really tall tree. Okay. Winds here. I, I, it's I'll get straight. I'll get your wind. I'll get your wind. Don't worry about that. All right. Downwind. Down on the right. Yeah, About five o'clock. Yep. Five I want to aim just at that tree right of the pen. I love it. Oh, I think that's good. Straight bounce. I hit it good. Okay. I like it. That's a good caddy right there. See, if he didn't pick up that wind, I would actually, I would have missed it a lot more to the left. It's never the caddy's fault. Never. Huge announcement. I'm going to be giving away a QI10 Max, the most forgiving driver in the world, to one person. All you got to do, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment. You're going to want to watch the rest of this video. It is crazy. Shout out to Colin Morikawa. Make sure you enter to win this driver. Let's get right back to the video. I know all the guys, they live here in Jupiter, but you've so never thought about people. moving to Florida. I am not a Florida guy. I'm, I'm very against Florida. Yeah. You know, it, like I mean, I, compared to California, I, it's so I actually, on. I actually live in Vegas now, okay. which is actually even hotter. Right. Um, the golf out here is unbelievable. Like, people love, I, I can see why, and I think it does help your golf game if you do move out to Florida. I just, I can't do it. Pace of life out here is too slow. Have you have you played, like, medalists and bears and all those? Uh, I've been to, I haven't been to bears, but I've been to medalists. Okay. Um, I've been to a few other places out here, just seeing some guys, you know, working on the game, but... Yeah, I can't do it. Let's go to the one on the right. Let's try and make. Yeah, front right. right. That one See if we can get nice. five birdies in a row. Yeah. All right, one, uh, one nineteen. One nineteen to that pin. Downwind. One nineteen downwind. Yeah. I mean, down off the right. I think the greens are pretty soft. I'd say like a one fourteen shot. Five yards of wind. Yeah. One. Yeah. What were you feeling? Do you feel your numbers? If you give me a number like that, I can Better? really. I can feel it. Okay. Colin's got the caddy talk too. He just like knows. It's crazy because it's almost like I play golf and I have a caddy. Yeah. There's a little more wind. Yeah, 113. Okay. Six yards. Okay. Uh, we've, seen, we've seen better. We've yeah. seen better. That's that's not on me. Where were you're you not, aiming? Where were you aiming then? Was I aimed right? I was trying to aim right at the pin. You're not used to missing the green, so okay. it's like, it's probably weird to see that ball no, miss the I, green. What I, I think because like you had to take a lot off. Yeah. You just completely stopped your body. I didn't keep the club. And you just like let the club just kind of go. I felt that. I didn't feel like I kept my body moving mm -hmm. left. That's, I feel like with my game, my driver is my number, it's my strongest okay. club in the bag. I feel like my wedge is right there, where I, where I lose a lot of, a lot okay. of strokes. It's just not close enough. Yeah, no, no, I mean that's, I think it's committing your numbers, right? Like figuring it out for me, obviously like people have a clock system, right? but it's those shots that are in between. Cause if I gave you a full wedge shot, I mean, what was that? What'd you hit? 50? 52 and I, it was like a smaller right. swing. So like if I gave you a 56 and said, hit it hard and go back to your stance, like. It probably would have been more committed though. You didn't have the feel of the shot in your hands before you actually hit it. You knew that you had to take a lot off. So I do the same thing. So like a lot of people will go, Cause I don't really, my practice swings in my golf game are just kind of like half. Right. Like I don't really take practice swings. When you know you have to take a lot of distance off, you kind of just, you think it's almost easier in a sense, but it's not. Cause it's a very tweener, like 56 might've landed just short, unless it, there's a big gust. So you almost have to play a shot. So if it gets too, if it's a really big tweener, that's when I start cutting it. That's why I've always cut the ball. Even on a wedge shot. So like on a wedge shot like that, I'll just try and cut it. Because like then you can get aggressive and just try and like feel that you're gonna cut it. If you have more club, it's way easier to cut it, right? Right. Because you just kinda like you kinda just hold on to the face. So just do that. Never actually thought about cutting a wedge. I always try and draw my wedges, like Zach Johnson, that's like fine. that right, kind of when you're that's a, like a, a special not a specialty shot, but that, that you have those tweener wedges where you'll find those numbers and like you don't 
this isn't terrible, but you also don't want to be here, right? You'd much, you'd much rather have a putt. I would, to be honest, I would just putt it. No, I'll chip it, chip it. Okay, chip it? Yeah, because we're trying to make it. It's straight uphill. You're trying to go for the make. Nice. Nip. I think we got that one, Colin. Guys, there's a lot of pins out here today. Um, I think they're doing... <laughs> I mean, this is the pin we were going to, so there's a lot. It was, it was. I'll second, I'll second that. All right, guys, well, after the first hole, we are even par. Four more holes to go? Yeah. That's okay. Caddy's I mean, fault. Was, yeah. I'm blaming everything on the Caddy today. It's all right. Colin's right. fault. What do we have, a par three? Is this our next hole? Yeah, I think we have a par three coming up. All right, hold on. Let me, let me, get, let me get the distance here. here. I'm, slack, I'm slacking on my job. I can't believe I'm doing this. In my head, I feel like I can help people, but I mean, you're so, you're good enough to where like, it probably won't make that big of a difference. I got it, no guessing, no guessing. What's up with your slope? Your range finder's messed up, you need a new one? It says it's nine. Oh, there we go. All right, 125. It said it was nine yards downhill. What are you feeling here? 55. How far does your 52 go? At max, 120. Max? Yeah. What? Sure? Yeah, like 120. Sure you don't hit it farther? I would, I would definitely, I would definitely hit I would definitely a gap wedge, but if you only hit a 120, then, then no. I would play this, no, 125, 126. Let's play, I'd play the number. Okay. Play the number to 128. So still a, like a tweener pitching wedge for you again? Yeah, it's not a full one. Okay. It's still just, the 52 is just not going to get there. And I've, I've made that mistake too All many right. times. All right, commit to the shot. Commit to the feel. Don't, don't forget about the shot. Commit to the feel of the shot. As long as you have the feel in your, in your swing. 128 is just below full. No, no, oh, 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 I'm going to call you off. Call you off. Good caddy. That's a good caddy. Oh, it's down caddy. now. Yeah, it's send down, the 52? No, 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 it's fine. You, you don't have to send it. It's okay. Like... Oh, that's good. Great shot. I think that's close. That was a good, hey, that was a good back off. That was clutch. That's I was about good, to hit that pitch. That's what a good caddy does. They know, when to, they know when to call you off. Because that was like, where's I was ready to hit it. It's pretty good. Better than mine. It's definitely not better than Colin's thing. He never cleans his grooves. Yeah, that's never. Yeah, never. Uh, we play with Wesley Bryan. Me and Mike oh play with Wesley God, and George all the time. That's terrible. And he like ripped me for it. Why? Because he, I mean, he was saying the reason I can't flight my wedges is because I don't have clean grooves. Is that true? Well, yeah, you don't get spin. They're caked. You ever bought a brush or? No. I, nothing? Yeah, it's a tough look. It really I'm is. I'm really, I'm like, baffled right now i'm like you know after a long range session i'll yeah. use the little thing but so like during a round you're playing 18 holes never clean grooves so like you don't even need a towel pretty much yeah i mean wow this is shocking this is this is how we're gonna is even go lower this is how we're gonna go lower in there. wesley's pulled me to the side wesley's one of the better wedge players i've yeah, played with absolutely and he can like spin him back from like 40 yards yeah. crazy stuff all right and you he, gotta start playing with and he looked at my club and was like what are you doing you gotta start playing with yeah, that's that's a rookie mistake there. It is. It really is. And I mean, a good caddy would tell you, "Oh, come on, let's go." That was Look such that, a clutch people. back off. Look at that. Such a clutch back Win off. Win switch. Win and you switch wanted back. me to hit that 52, and yeah. I didn't want to hit it. No, I think you can hit it farther. I think you can hit it farther than. That. Yeah. I mean, no one's putted on these greens. They're perfect. This right here, though, is the putt. I mean, do these putts are you? They just automatic for you a putt like this i've gotten better at these yeah so i use the claw like you i heard you don't take practice strokes so no practice strokes because they once again they don't do anything unless you actually are feeling what you're doing right to me it doesn't help um, i think it's a speed thing for me just like dialing and yeah. feeling the speed but what i did I, so i won about a month ago in japan okay and i've been using aim point and what i would do is i'd line up my ball roughly at my aim point spot and then just feel it from there Gotcha. I would, I would never go off that aim point spot by too much. And if they were different, then I knew something was way off and I'd back off. You want to feel confident. I mean, how do you read putts? How are not you too much thought that goes into it. I think we know it's definitely going to go left. Okay. So, you know, you can play. Yeah, I love that. Just inside the, the right edge. <sighs> Great caddies. My caddies, I mean... I don't have a normal caddy today. Usually when you have a normal caddy, you don't get that worked up, but oh, I didn't want to miss that in front of Colin. So that was good. That's a good birdie, guys. We're, we are now one under through two holes, a couple more holes to go, but I'm telling you, I feel, I mean, Colin really did help me there.
All right, guys, we are on, we are heading over now to the third hole of the day, and apparently this is Gil Hans's dream green design. It's crazy. It's, I mean, I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. I think, I, I bet you, at some point, someone will have a hole in one on this hole. Yeah. We've seen it done. I, We've 100%. seen it done before on par fours, but I think this is one of those holes that someone's gonna get it done. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, it's gonna be crazy because, yeah, wait till you guys see it. I think it's, it'll be pretty shocking with I, how much slope there is. Yeah, and I feel like we're gonna be maybe one of the first two people with this video to show this golf course, Apogee, yeah. maybe in the world. Yeah. I, mean, I don't think this will be on camera. No, not before at all. this video. It's do we just done. do you just hit and see which pin we? There's three pins. We gotta pick one. So we gotta pick one pin for the guy. Your pick. Your call. Watching. Your call. Where's the pin? You know how the the green like slopes to the front. I want to have the the hole in one pin. I think it's the one um, far right. Or no, it's middle. I think it's red. No, middle's up front. Middle's okay, up middle's front. So middle's very narrow. They, it can come in from the sides. Okay. But the back ones have the back slope where you can almost play it off the back slope. Let's go right. Okay. Let's like go that. back right one. It's got to be what? Two, 275, 280? 310. 310. That's perfect. Okay, that's a perfect. Okay, that's a perfect. Famous par four here. We're going to the right pin. Yep. 310. This is this hot here for you standing here? Yeah, this is disgusting. Yeah, I hate Florida that. is tough, man. What are you doing here? Where are you trying to, I think the hole in one, you need to land it pretty much on that tree just right at the red pin. Okay. I want to feel it start at that. Okay. Wind, wind's going to help it. So I like teeing it up farther right. Okay, farther to the right. Over. All right. Yeah, I don't like, for me, I hit a cut and I don't like these left trees, so. Gotcha. Our, I think our miss, no, we're, we're going to stuff one. Oh, oh my gosh, come on, come on. I mean, it's rolling up on it. It's exactly on the pin, so. What's it, what's it look like on the drone? Wait, wait. Stop it. It's gonna come back. Stop it. Did it get to the back of the green? It's coming back right now as we speak. Let's go. A 25. <laughs> Let's go. You could actually hit that shot a few times, and if you hit it just right of the pin, it would actually come back. What a drive. Yeah. How do you feel after that? I mean, in front of you, I feel like I how cleared many, it. All right, how many hole in ones do you have? I just made my first one at the tail. Did you see the 100 hole pike? Yeah. The hay? Is that where you made your first? With Michael Block, yeah. Ever. Yeah, ever. 65 yards. What? Now, does that count? 65 yeah, yards. No, it counts. I think par three courses count. Okay, it was a tough. Um, like, I wanted it to be a, a nice long hole, but. Yeah, no, but I mean, it's at the Pebble Beach. It's true. And you saw it go in, right? Saw it go so in, like, one hop, dunk, and we all yeah. went crazy. This is my first so, one. How many do you have? Seven. seven. Zero in tournaments. Really? Never made one in a tournament. Yeah. They're That's going to feel awesome when it happens. I, yeah. I tell I tell my caddy I only want one if there's a car, but I, I'd take it anytime. Yeah. I've been I mean, close. it's going to be cool. I'm gonna, I've been close. We're going to play this clip back when you have your first one. <laughs> That's going to be perfect. <laughs> so I know you went to the claw, and I was just saying, like, the reason I switched because I feel like this right hand gets hitty. Did you feel the same? or? It's the same thing for me. I mean, I kind of, uh, I've had troubles, obviously, my putting, my putting a little iffy uh, here and there, especially in the early part of my career. And um, I finally felt kind of consistency this year with going back to the claw. I actually went away from it last year. Um, but going back to the claw for me, like you said, it takes out your right hand. Right. So like your right hand's kind of stable. And even though that's our more, for a lot of people, your more dominant hand, right. at the end of the day, it's like putting is a pendulum. There are, there are handsy players, right? You look at a Brant Snedeker and you look at like Jack Nicholas, right? They do break very, their wrists and yeah. Very handsy. Right. But for me, I just couldn't get my speed and consistency down. So I essentially just think of this extending all the way to my sternum. Does it always actually, point? And it always actually, points there. Sorry, not my sternum, to my belly button. Right. As if I were using a belly, a belly putter. Right. And that just rocks from there. So everything rocks from my belly button and almost chest right there. Gotcha. So you don't keep it like pointed. You don't keep it pointed well, there the it's, whole time. But no, like... but it's it's kind of just an idea to take away your hands. So like gotcha. the claw takes that away, um, making sure this is set here, that takes it away. And just as if you were to putt literally palms together, that's like a great drill I always do. I like that. I know this is right to left. So if aim point says it's left to right. So are you feeling it in your feet right now? I, I'm, I'm, that's exactly what I'm doing. Like you're feeling essentially the percentage Slow. You know, if this was zero, one percent, two percent, three percent, and you're feeling it in your feet, it's pretty much like I learned by some people can do it both ways. I always do better with my 
lead foot. So like, do you ride skateboard or snowboard? I, I ski. Oh, that, doesn't doesn't, that probably doesn't happen. But if you were to ride a ski, skateboard, yeah. which foot would you ride forward? A skateboard? You ride regular? I, I feel like I was goofy when I skate when I was a kid. So right, so right foot forward? Yeah, I was right foot forward. So like, I, I, you should try it. So you, I would put your right foot down, and then you just kind of feel like as if you're riding that way. So, you so just now feel, you're just feeling it. So you're just standing. You gotta practice at zero, and then you you will learn what one percent, two percent, three percent is. Build the system, and it's pretty much just practicing a feel in your feet. Yeah. So that's yeah, it's. I feel like that would matter. Like the shoes you're wearing would maybe. Depend. So you have to keep wearing the same shoes. You gotta yeah. you gotta keep that. And then obviously you are. I have to calibrate the speed of the greens downhill, all right. that type of stuff. So let's let's just guess. We're roughly at about an eleven. So it's gotta go. I mean, two percent there. So, I've got you going. Now you remember, this is where, this is a starting point, right? Right. So, where, where did you, my two got me right here. If I was playing that putt, that's exactly where, if I was just feeling it. Got it. So this is, so that, this is exactly what I would do. I would now line it up to this, and then essentially when I stand over it, I kind of feel it. You stand up and you're like, okay, well that feels high. I'm gonna go a little lower. Or that feels low, I'm gonna go a little higher but at least I'm roughly within the general area of where I was reading my endpoint. You have a line down, but now you can always adjust. You don't have to be married to your line. Some people do that, but I think if you're a field player, you wanna just kind of work your way off of that. Okay, we need to work on speed. Yep, hit it right through it, right through the break. I think we had a good, we had a good shot at two. Go. Really solid start here. I don't, I, don't know. Know. I, mean, I don't think this course is considered easy. I don't know if it's hard. I know nothing about it. So. Yeah, well, we're going to quarter one. one. Nope, not mine. Not mine at all. <laughs> Two under after three. Great start here. Two ninety to cover the bunker. Wind is in out of the right. One thirty, two o'clock. So, so I don't think we're covering. Bunker? I don't think we're covering. No, we're not. We are definitely not. Not with no. my game. I, I mean, with the wind and you playing a draw, let's just okay. Just left of the bunker. Started just left of the bunker and just let it rip. Beauty. Kind of a safe line for me. No, it's. I think that's great. No, I guess we could have taken it over the bunker. I don't know. I don't usually hit it. Seemed, seemed pretty good. I think we had a good drive. I think we're just down the left. I hope I gave you a good line. You kind of ripped it. No, if, you, if right. it was 280 to that bunker, it's 290. 290 to the back, to the back edge. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. To the back edge. I think we have way more room too. There's right. not as many trees. Do you prefer to hit a lower bullet, or what do you? How far do you hit your clubs? What do you have? So I hit this. This goes about 215, 220. So that's not going to get. Definitely there. not enough. So we got to hit the hybrid. Uh, yeah, 100%. Okay, hybrid it is. I mean, we can eliminate the four iron. I just brought it up there because like sometimes when I hit like a stinger with it, you know, real low. Yeah, you I just think roll. it's it's such a new golf course that we're not going to get any roll. Yeah, you can. The, the fairways are a little bit overseeded. Yeah, it should come out pretty low off of this down slope. 230 to on the dot to the pen. 230 exactly the hole. Okay. I like a 243 shot. Okay. 243. That's perfect. That should be this full. Straight at it. Wind is directly into you. That's so good. Right. All right, it's fine. Thought that was gonna fade a little bit right. On yeah, me. A little bit off the right, just a tick. I mean, look at this guy. He is—he was born to be a caddy. Yeah. Since he doesn't clean his clubs, I'll just kind of like. I think he's been hit two times. You're good. It was for me when I—I I, in college I used two irons all the way. And, and then I you switched to a hybrid. Oh, I switched to a hybrid. I switched to a hybrid uh, 2020 waste management. And I made four eagles in a row on par fives. In the tournament. So four par fives in a row. Right. I made yeah four eagles in a row using that hybrid that on every on every. And then you were like from there on out you were like. And I then can't, uh, then it went downhill from there. Oh okay. So now still... I, now I have a five wood. Okay. So now you've gotten rid of your hybrid. Yeah. And you've gone to a five wood. Now I've gone to five wood. I think five woods are the easiest club to in your bag. That is crazy. I've never really heard because that you just don't really like take a divot. You kind of it just like there's and it's so a much bounce. Head. Yeah, and it just and there's so much loft that you're not trying to hit down on it. You know the ball's gonna like flop up, so you're just swinging super level, and it just comes off like 
so good. That's crazy. Now this shot with the grass we're dealing with, just because it's a little thick, right? Yep. And I don't know how it's gonna react on the screen, but I would go high with this. I would okay. go high and soft. I would aim left and let it feed to the right. I know it's gonna work its way to the right. There's a big slope there. You're uh, gonna plate off the slope or no? I would probably try and land it just on that fringe area. Okay. Um, how, I mean, it's a hard shot. No how high, I 100% I agree. How high are you going with the shot? Not crazy. I'm not taking like okay. a full perfect, swing, perfect. but I'm going I love it. mid I love swing. It. Yep. Kind of bounced it into the ball a that's little fine, bit. That's fine though. Like that's the miss you want. Yeah. Just square it on me, you know? It's kind of hard to trust it when you open the face up. But how would, now how would you play this in a tournament? I would kind of do the same thing. I mean, knowing that the lie you obviously have to look at the lie right it's a little fluffy so it might come out not as spinny as you want just because there's so much grass right but i would still play it for there to be rough like a decent amount of spin right um i would know that if you do land it short on the fringe it's going to kick out to the hole so i'd kind of just kind of try and land it just past the fringe okay. with kind of the same shot you played just a little bit of height I probably won't take as big of a swing as you did, um, knowing that if you do come out with spin, it's going to be just fine if you don't need height. Oh my god. Oh, killed it. That was cool. I thought, that was I thought, so cool. I thought, the, fringe, I thought the fringe would kind of release a little so bit. So you more. went right for it too. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm trying to aim a little bit left of that, but I think the slope for me, I would never really play it just because at the end of the day, if you're trying to hold it, you don't really need to go use right that for slope. it. Yeah. Oh my God. That was so good. <laughs> so close. That was player B, though. See, his club made a different sound than mine because he really did use the bounce there. I could hear it just like there was a different noise it made because mine right. squared up. So your shot was a bigger flop shot. So that's why I was a little afraid when you said flop shot because yeah. you said you're not trying to hit it too high. Right. But for you, when you thought height, you thought, okay, well, I'm going to take a bigger swing. There is a balance of height and spin. If you go too high, you're not going to get enough spin. So that's where, for me, on that shot, I was going for more spin. How do you, how do you hit it lower and spinnier? Though, like for me, I have to keep the ball forward. Yeah, back you had that never ball, good. like, up here. Back is never good. So the people that, like, you, you know, people all talk about draws. I can't do that just the way my hands work through the ball. Right. Just keep it almost outside your left foot, and you're exiting left. I'm exiting left. I'm, like, almost cutting across it. That's so cool. Which is like the opposite of what a lot of people do, but for me it finds the bottom. If you can learn where the bottom of the club is, yeah, yeah, that's it's I the agree. best it's the best feeling. I, I think agree. you got I think you got me on the first one. That's see now this is all feel for me. As it should be. There, at like this I, point I'll at this putt point, like this, I just set that line like well I feel like it's out here and I feel like I gotta let it fall in. I actually just blank ball it. So you don't even line it I up. I don't even line it up because there there's so now this one the greens aren't that fast, but of course like a Augusta where there's so much break. Yeah. And you can make it at 50 different lines. At that point, you just have to commit to what you're doing. So this one I'm fine with, but do you, do you like that line? Is that high or is that low? So this is where I feel like when I'm over these putts and I have a line, I don't really know. Like I'm kind of I can make it seem good, but I like blank. I like the blank ball, and you just all feel. Let's try it. Let's do the blank right. ball because there's just so much break here. It's like I don't even want that. I want to feel it. Just yeah. feel it in my body and speed, my hands. Speed is number When you have a putt breaking more than a cup, speed is all that matters. Easy. Colin's coming off the bat, guys. We are making a run for the tour, and Colin will be with me by the end of this Q video. school 2024. Well, guys, that wraps it up for today's video. That's three under through four holes with Colin. Thank you so much, man. You're, I mean, that was nice, awesome. Man. That was impressive golf. I'll be honest. I, was I like, careered in. I know. Career. Sometimes you got to step up, and you did. Just like 2024 Q school. <laughs> yeah, 2024, Here you'll see come. us there. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. It's really cool to have Colin on the channel, but make sure if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the little notification bell so you know when new videos are coming out. But until next time, peace. Thank you.